Hello. I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce our charity to those of you who don't know about it and explain who we help, what we do, and most importantly, how you could help us do more by giving your time, skills, and money. First, though, I want to say a big thank you to all those members who have already supported us so generously. I'd also like to show you some examples of the huge difference your contributions have made in very personal terms to people, young and old, through caring for the sick and disabled and creating opportunity to overcome social disadvantage. The Information Technologists Company brings together a centuries-old livery company tradition with state-of-the-art information technology skills and our charity is about using our information technology skills to improve lives through education, opportunity and accessibility. The strength of the company is in its members and a unique feature of our approach is to bring our technology and management skills together with funds from our charitable endowment to make a bigger difference to the people we help than either could do on its own. One example of the impact that your collective efforts have made is LifeLights, which uses technology to help terminally ill children in hospices gain new experiences. So in 2006, we set ourselves up. And since then, the number of children's hospices has grown to 49 throughout the British Isles. And there are 9,000 children and babies being looked after at those sites. And LifeLights is providing one of our technology projects for every single one of those. Children can be diagnosed with a terminal illness quite young and live into their early teens. Um, and so this is all about, and the strap line of LifeLights is giving children with limited lives unlimited opportunities and I think that resonates about the whole thing of children's hospices. And we could see that these children, many of whom have multiple disabilities, would benefit from the wonderful and amazing technologies that have been developed for children with disabilities and so that's what we concentrate on now. So every children and babies hospice has an accessible package of technology. If you walk a children's hospice of a night time and you see a young person in a wheelchair sitting in front of a screen and his sister is with them, and they're looking at dolphins that, of, uh, of, that they saw in Miami at a zoo when they visited America as part of a gay trip, and they're surfing the net and he's sharing that experience, then you know why you're doing it. You just know why you're doing it. Originally, the brains behind the LifeLights projects were members of the Information Technologists Company, and throughout the lifetime of LifeLights, They've brought the expertise that we need in order to be, run, be able to run our projects efficiently and cost effectively, which is so important for a charity. And they continue to do that as members of our technical advisory panel. I didn't know how I could give back and, and the, uh, the livery company has given me the vehicle to be able to do that. And I'm reflecting back now, I, I'm, just, I'm just so grateful for that. Um, and the thing that really surprises us now, in retrospect, there's lots of other been involved, but that little group of, of us in the Recreation and Leisure Planner, it just shows that you can make a difference. I think our approach of combining skills, money and strategic partnering is a very powerful model with which we could do more to improve individual lives and address social issues. But we do need your help. We need more money doesn't have to be a huge amount because our volunteering approach helps it go a long way. So if you would like to give to the charity on a regular monthly or annual basis or as a one-off, visit the website or contact Eleanor at the hall. But to achieve the outcomes we want, we also need time and expertise from members to make the money work for us. So if you want to volunteer your time, then please register with IT for Communities Update your profile on LinkedIn so we know what skills you have to offer. Join a panel or committee and get involved. Bring us your own ideas on where and how we might make a difference. And I hope you agree that our charity provides a real opportunity to help people. And helping people is a tremendous privilege and a perfect way to give something back.